Next, we discuss about data type. So each variable in C++ can store only one type of literal. So when defining a variable, we have to define the data type for that variable as well. Some of the data types uh, that are support in C++ are, uh, so we basically have two types of data type. One is the primitive one and the other one is the derived one. So we have a list of primitive data type. These are not all the data types that are supported, but uh, a list that we think will be used the most. So we have data type like integer, long, long, int, float, double, char, boolean. So for example, integer you, uh, in the table, you can see that it has a constraint or range associated with it. So basically an integer data type can only store uh, like a value between 10 to power minus 10 to power 9 to 10 to power uh, positive 10 to power 9. So for example, if I write something like int a equals to 10 to power, let's say, 10 so this will not be possible because integer cannot store a value greater than 10 to power 9 so if you want to store a value greater than 10 to power 10 we have to use long long end similarly like uh, we have something like boolean which shows true and false in the literal section uh, we saw that c++ supports true and false value as keywords so uh, we can write something like boolean let's say flag equals to uh, so next in the next section we'll see that uh, there are some data types known as derived data types so derived data types are basically aggregation of primitive data types we will discuss two type of derived data types one is structure so structure can contain mixed type of derived a mixed type of primitive data type and uh, arrays are basically aggregation of similar data type so we can have an array of like let's say integer but if we are saying we have a structure the structure can contain integer boolean or double as well so uh, like these two topics will be covering separately in our section later in that course so it's just to give you an introduction of what these two are